Mental Ninja, what up with y'all niggas, man? I feel just horrible. I, I feel so sad and so terrible that, you know, I, I angered Beast Mode. You know, he's a real nigga. He's a real G. I'm afraid. I don't know what to do. Um, maybe, maybe Jesus can help me. You know, I don't want to go outside because I'm scared that he's going to be lurking in the bushes or swinging from a tree to beast mode me to death for me talking about not talking about OTO business to my club bros and not talking about club bro business to my MC or to my OTO brethren. And I don't know what to do, man. You know, I've never been to jail. I've never been in trouble, you know, and now I think that I'm, 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 I'm in trouble with, with some, with a shot caller from another dimension from the fourth realm. And, and I, and he's, I don't know what to do. You know, he told me I'm a bitch ass nigga. I'm a bitch made Mark ho ass bitch nigga. And I'm scared because if he's true, if he's right, then, you know, what am I going to do now? You know, he also called me a snitch and I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, don't want to be a snitch. I don't want to be in trouble with, with, with beast modes, you know, or any, or any of the other transformers or from any, you know, episode or any age of transformers, you know, I, I'm worried. I'm really worried. I'm scared. I, I think I want to cry, but I'm not sure if I, if I do, then my eyes, will, I, I don't want to be, have vision blurry when he kicks in my door and, and annihilates and burns down my house or the club, the clubhouse. You know, I'll never talk about motorcycle shit again. I'll never talk about 85 because I don't, I'm not in a motorcycle club. And that it's not an 85 on my shirt. It's just, it's a hologram. You know, I probably won't come on YouTube anymore because like, I don't want to like give off a signal or ping to my location and therefore inherit the, the violence that Beast Mode wants to bring to me. I've never been in a fight. I'm only one foot three. I don't think I could fight even if I wanted to fight. And I never, I don't want to fight an old person or a big fat old person either, you know, with dreads, you know, because I don't think I would win, you know, especially if he puts his dreads in the ponytail like a woman does, I'll definitely not win. So like, I think this might be my last stream ever, my last video, Red Squid, I'm sorry if I caused disruption on your panel for just speaking my own thoughts and stuff. I should only speak what Beast Mode wants me to speak because he's obviously the king of fucking, he's the king of um, all the nether realms. He beat, Shao, he beat Shao Kahn out of the throne in Mortal Kombat. So he's now the king and Sub-Zero works for him now. And uh, I just, I just, you know, I don't want to fight with any of the nine realm, the nine gods from the nine realms of Asgard and shit. You know, I don't have Thor's hammer, you know, I don't know. I don't even know where Thor is at, and ask if I could borrow his hammer because I don't have his phone number. I don't even know if he has a phone, you know. And I don't live by any big bodies of water, so I know Aquaman couldn't help me. And they're from two different universes anyway, so I don't know. I, I can't get to both universes. I don't have a flux capacitor. I don't have a transporter capability and shit or warp drive technology. So I think that like what I'll do is just stay in my house and be afraid that you know, or I'll never go to the east side again, even though I'm from there, because like you know, I'm scared. Everything Beast Mode said was true. You know, I wish I never made that man mad. Now he's molded, he's molding into Beast Mode. And I'm scared. So, if you never hear from me again, it's because I went to hiding. I changed my name, I changed my face. And I changed my shoes, and my socks. Actually, I just flip my socks on the inside out and pretend like they're new. And, you know, and I'll be fucking like at a remote location in Alaska. And that's why I'm... I don't know what to do. I'm so scared, you know, but I'll never talk about being in a motorcycle club because I'm not, I'm just not, you know, this isn't, this is my club vest. This isn't, this is, I just made this. I, I made it out of paper. It's not even real. So I'm, I'm going to burn it and hide it. So nobody knows that, that I had it because I can't, you know, continue this to keep up this false, this falsity that I'm in a club and I'm not in the OTO either. And I'm not in AA and I'm not even black. I'm not even brown right now. I'm not even talking. This is uh this is one of those deep fakes technology, you know what I'm saying? But um, you know, shout out to Sir Drop, man. I'm gonna miss you guys. And shout out to uh Red Squid and Greedy and everybody else. I'm gonna miss you guys and 
I just don't want to be a bitch ass nigga no more. I really don't. I want to be I want to be something more than just a bitch ass nigga. You know, so maybe maybe I'll find my purpose in a remote location in Alaska. You know, just standing out there in the in the t frozen tundra, looking at the sky, wondering what will become of me. But uh, I'm just sorry I I caused such a ruckus, and you know I'll never do it again because I'm never coming back again. And uh, I'm really afraid, guys. I'm really, really afraid. <laughs>